Do you want to know how to know if a man likes you? Well, in this video, I'm going to share three things that are obvious signs that a man that you might be dating likes you. My name is Barbara Stanton and I help successful single women attract and magnetize the lasting love that they've always desired. All right. So how to tell if a man likes you? Well, the number one sign is that he tells you. I know it's a little simplistic and I'm going to dive into it a little bit more, but it's pretty basic. He says, I really like you. Or he says, there's something about you. I used to get this when I started practicing my feminine energy and leaning back and smiling and radiating my inner confidence and my love for myself outward in an open way, which is basically I just described femininity. I used to get men saying, oh my gosh, Barbara, you're so beautiful. You're so kind. You're so all the things, but there's just something like an energy. You have such a great vibe. Like you have such a great energy, a great vibe. There's just something about you. And it was always like they were flabbergasted by my energy and they couldn't pinpoint what it was. So when men tell you these things, number two, he messages you first. Now there's a caveat. You have to allow space for him to message first. If you are the type of woman who's constantly messaging him, messaging him, messaging him, having the last word, um, you know, replying to him right away, not letting him come to you, then you will never find out. You don't know if he's messaging you first or if he's messaging you to reply to you about something you said to him. So make sure you allow space for him to miss you in a way, right? Allow space for him to not be bombarded by you with messages, not be bombarded with you, uh, by you with um, texts and how are yous and replies to him from the other day or whatever and allow there to be space. And I'm leaning back right now because it's a leaning back energy. You know, when he says good night, you don't always have to say the last good night. In fact, not saying it at all, allowing him to have the last word in a way, but not, not metaphorically, like literally having him say the last thing and then ending the conversation cleanly allows him the space to then come back again first. So don't be the first to message. In fact, I always tell my clients, don't be the first to message ever for a little while because we're so used to messaging first. Lean back and then eventually you can make it 80-20. So 80% of the time he messages first, 20% of the time you message first. So this allows the space for him to reach out to you. And that is a sure fire sign, a 100% guaranteed sign that he likes you. But if you're reaching out to him first and he replies, you still don't know if he's replying because you messaged him or he's replying because he wanted to message you in the first place. So allowing that space is very, very, very important. And then if he comes in and keeps messaging you first, you're golden. He likes you. If you like this video so far, subscribe to my channel. I release two videos every week. So this way you won't miss out on any great new content and hit the like button as well. That way I know you liked this content. All right. Number three, he talks about the future. So this of course it is dependent on where you are in your dating relationship. You know, whether you're six months in two years in, are different scenarios than if you haven't even met on a date yet and you're just messaging, right? So let's go there. You haven't met yet on a real date and you're messaging back and forth and he is pushing forward to meet you and he is arranging the date and he is leading and making sure that it happens. He sets a time, he sets a date, he confirms, he makes sure you're going to be there. And that is leading the relationship. That is talking about the future that is making the relationship move forward. This is the man's job. Okay. It is not your job. Stop 
having that as your job. Let go of that job, quit that job. It's not your job. So now you've had a date. Now don't message him asking for a second date, asking if you're going to see him again. Even if he said, oh, we should do this again. If you leave the date and he has not yet reached out to you to ask you on a second date, give him that space that we just talked about in number two. Allow him the time, his timeline to come to you and ask you out. If we keep pushing, then we again, we are going to be left wondering, is this man married to me? You know, five years later, if the, is this man married to me because I made him? I pushed him? Or is this man married to me because he really wants to be here? The same goes for a second date, a third date, marriage, all the things. If you don't allow him to show that he wants to be there on his own, then you'll never actually know. So when you are on your first or second date, he talks about the future. I'm not talking about marriage, okay? Don't let that enter your mind. Some of you are already planning your wedding to this man and you don't even know him. Stop doing that. But what is a good sign is if this man shares with you something about the future with you in it. So on a first date, that might mean, oh, I'd love to take you out on a second date. He is talking about the future with you in an appropriate way. If a man starts talking about marriage to you, to you, like not marriage in general, but being married to you and wanting to marry you or thinking about marrying you on a first date, run. That is not talking about the future. That is psychopathic. That is unhealthy. Okay. So there are nuances to this. So don't take it too, too literal because you need, he needs to be talking about the future to the level of appropriateness of where you are in your dating relationship. So for example, if you have been dating a man for four years and you're still not living together, that's okay. But if you want to live together and that isn't happening and he's still talking about taking you out on dates and going and, you know, not, not talking about maybe eventually marrying or living together or having children. And those are some things that you want. He is not the right man for you. He's not moving the relationship forward, right? You're stuck in a dating way. So look at where you are in appropriateness of the level of dating that you're doing and the level of the relationship that you're in. And the man should be with ease and with steps moving the relationship forward um, consistently. And that is a way to know if a man likes you. All right, there's more videos to come. So stay tuned and I will see you in another video. Bye for now.